Hey guys, BK here. So I got another episode of the news thing. Uh, I still need a name for it. Frick. Uh, if you have any ideas for a name for this thing, uh, please, dear God, let me know. Uh, anyways, we got three news stories. Uh, one is a follow-up to the last news. Uh, one is an album announcement. And then one is a tour festival announcement kind of thing. Anyways, let's get into it. So let's start off with David Olsen says he's planning on pursuing revenge porn charges against a person who leaked very private video. Uh, so if you don't know or didn't watch the previous video, basically David Olsen uh, got caught jerking it to a 19-year-old on FaceTime. Uh, videos were leaked of him doing that. Uh, the whole world went crazy. He was kicked out of Megadeth. And now we're here. And he's going to apparently be filing revenge porn charges on uh, the lady who leaked out the videos. So let's see what we got here. Is, uh, this is from Blabbermouth. Uh, it says, earlier today, Elvison released following statement. Recently, a very private video was illegally posted on the internet, and false allegations were made against me. The actions in the video were between two consenting adults, which, remember, she was 19, so yes, she was a consenting adult. Still creepy. Uh, and were recorded without my knowledge. I am working with Scottsdale Police Department in their investigation into charges regarding revenge porn to be filed against the person who posted the video. Also, my lawyers are preparing a, preparing a defamation lawsuit to be filed against this person. This person will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which is basically, you know. Yeah. Uh, on one hand, I, yeah, I think what she did was technically kind of illegal. Uh, revenge porn. Revenge porn is an uh, issue. Um, obviously, it's happened before. Not in. Well, it's probably happened in the middle scene, but that was kind of the first big one. Um, but yeah, so it looks like looks like David Olson is going to be going to court uh, potentially. We'll see how that works out. Uh, still a shitty thing he did, um, but I think both parties parties are in the wrong. Probably could have handled, been handled in a bit, little bit better of a method. Uh, next story we got is Scale the Summit. Um, they are releasing a new album. And by they, I mean Chris Letchford, who is the guitarist for Scale the Summit. Because it's basically his solo band. Uh, even though it wasn't in the past. And he has his own solo band called Letchford. And then he also has Scale the Summit. It's all Chris Letchford, anyways. Uh, but they are previously an uh, instrumental band. Um, but this album, their first album, is, this next album is going to be a vocal album with a bunch of different vocalists. So you have Ross Jennings from Haken. Uh, if you don't know who Haken is, they're basically a British Dream Theater ripoff, but they're still pretty fucking awesome. Courtney LaPlante uh, from Spirit Box, who is like a roughly kind of sort of newish uh, metalcore band, super popular right now. Uh, Eric Emery from Sky Harbor, once again, an old ish gent band, one of the original internet gent bands. And then the subject of this video we have joseph the singer from reign of kindo who i fucking love uh they're basically they're a jazz band <laughs> um i highly recommend i'm not gonna play it here for copyright reasons but highly recommend checking out this uh video uh with let's try that again <laughs> checking out this video um of chris chris letchford doing a playthrough for this single and he's got this really fucking sweet Kiesel uh, that has been customized with LEDs in it. So that looks, looks pretty cool. And I listened to the song earlier, and that actually, it, pretty, it fucking slaps pretty hard. Um, so highly recommend that. And finally, our next, our last news story. Download Festival returned this year as Download Pilots. This is from Metal Injection. Um, if you don't know what Download Festival is, it's kind of like the biggest uh, hard rock and metal festival there is. Uh, it's also usually streamed and or recorded, so you can check it out even if you don't feel like going to the United Kingdom. Um, they usually have really good lineups, too. But it turns out they won't be, uh, once again, for a metal injection, Download Festival might not be coming back in its full capacity this year, but that doesn't mean it's completely gone. The festival's organizers have announced the details of Download Pilot, which is a three-day pilot festival that takes part in the UK's government research event research program. The festival will take place between June 18th and 20th at Donington Park in that place. <laughs> you crazy Brits. With a capacity of 10,000. So it looks like it's going to be a smaller festival. Usually it's like a you know, big open-air deal uh, with multiple stages. Uh, good lineups, too. Um, so... 
the uh, lineup for Download Pile will be announced on May 28th, which is in two days from recording this video, uh, with tickets on sale uh, on May 27th, which is tomorrow. <laughs> So if you happen to be in the UK and feel like going to a pretty big and pretty awesome festival, uh, check it out. I suspect it'll be recorded and or streamed again this year. So, there you go. Uh, that's all we got. I'll see y'all some other time. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment and do all that YouTuber bullshit. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, it occurred to me last time I never didn't say that. Uh, but please, I'm looking for any sort of feedback for anything I can do to improve this. Um, you can also follow me on Twitch or on Twitter. Uh, I stream on occasion and I shit post on occasion. So, yeah. Peace.